Over the weekend, HP's board unanimously rejected Xerox's bid, saying it undervalued HP and was not in the shareholders' best interest. Our next guest says that rejection uh, now puts both companies in play. And joining us for more on this and so much more, Dan Gallagher is here, reporter at the Wall Street Journal. And our guest host, Walter Isaacson, is also here as well. Good morning. So the, both companies are now you think up, up for grabs? Yeah, well, I, I, I'm of the opinion that when Xerox made this made this bid, which right. was, which looked kind of crazy on paper because they're so much smaller, is that it looked like a way maybe to force HP to the table in some way. Right. Um, the, and HP's rejection seemed to say that they've talked before, and even but, but HP the, may walk away from it. sense because you would almost have to. I mean, <laughs> they were saying, "Buy me." Buy me. Yeah. It's the opposite. <laughs> It's yeah. It, it was unusual. The whole objective. Well, you have less. You have less debt if you're right. not buying. If you're, it's right. a bigger company buying. It's so it's sad. That's a cry yeah. for help. Do you think that uh, Xerox was trying to put itself into play by doing this? Well, I think they're trying to do something. I mean, they they settled this deal with Fuji with Fujifilm that gives them some cash and kind of frees them up a little bit. Um, and they and because they have some management there that's been supported by by Carl Icahn, I think they kind of have a mentality to you know, look and try to be aggressive and do a deal. And what HP admitted last, when they did their big analyst meeting last month, is they essentially admitted that printing is not a growing business. And it's not gonna grow right. in 10 years from now. So it's the definition of a secular a so business. they need to attach themselves decline. to somebody. Is Xerox the right place to attach yourself to? I mean, there's not, there's not crazy growth at Xerox either. No, I mean, I think the logic on combining these two companies is not that they're going to grow at some point. It's to it's consolidate. It's to address. Right. And, uh, the, you know, Japanese companies like Canon are very pop are very strong in office copying. Right. So I think they think to beef up and take on those. Um, but the wrinkle is that HP is still a majority PC business right. in terms of where it gets most of its revenue. And in the proposal Xerox made, they're proposing to essentially slash R&D funding. Right you know, to help pay for this. And how do you have a PC company stay competitive when you have, you know, really slashed R&D budget? That's a question that's out there. So okay. what products do you think they should be making 10 years from now, both of them, if they were combined? I, I think printing is still going to be with us in 10 okay. years. It's just not going to be, there's not going to be more people printing in 10 right. years. There's not going to be more businesses printing. It's kind of, it's sort of this melting <laughs> iceberg. 